Hi class, my name is Mahayan Prince and this is my week 5 multimedia discussion post. So an overview, some of the things I'm going to be talking about is the importance of ethics in public administration, the code of ethics for public administration, a theoretical foundation, um, an applicable, applicable theory to the foundation of the code of ethics, and um, an ethical scenario and solution. I'm going to introduce a ethical, an ethical issue and a possible solution to the issue. So the importance of ethics in public defense. So ethics are the, the foundation of the criminal justice system. They're what um, helped us as a society develop a moral reasoning that we use to define criminal activity and um, deem acceptable punishments for that criminal activity. Um, it's an important topic because our criminal justice system is most effective when it's operated in, in an ethical manner. So there's three important areas of criminal defense um, where ethics are most important. The first is police operations. Um, this is police behavior, including how the police interact with the community and how the community interacts with the police. When the police are perceived to be operating ethically, um, a community is more likely to be open and ethical when dealing with them. Um, this includes working together on uh, crime prevention. The second is attorney behavior. Um, ethical behavior, of course, um, isn't about winning a case at all costs. It's about representing a client in the best way possible. There shouldn't be an expectation for attorneys to have um, to act unethically and therefore inappropriately. Rules have been written in a certain way. Um, they can follow the you know, follow the rules to the letter of the law. Um, and we need to allow and expect these public defenders to be doing so. Um, the third is self-participation. Um, oftentimes we don't think that the way people interact with the criminal justice um, professionals is part of the ethical equation, but it is. We need to consider people's willingness to share information and to be a part of the system. This includes everything from participating in jury duty to self-reporting uh, local criminal activity. So the next is the code of ethics. So um, the code of ethics um, for a public defender is to uphold the integrity and independence of the office, um, avoid Im impropriety and the appearance of impropriety in all activities, Adhere to the appropriate standards of performing the duties of the office. Engage in activities to improve the law, the legal system, and the administration of justice. Regulate extra official activities to minimize the risk of conflict with official duties. Regularly file reports on all income received for extra official activities. And to refrain from in inappropriate political activity. So the um, theoretical foundation, the theory that I would use for the foundation of the code of ethics um, for public administrate for um, public defenders is Kant's uh, categorical imperatives. He defines categorical imperative as commands or moral laws all persons must follow, regardless of their desires or extenuating circumstances. As morals, these imperatives are binding on everyone. So. Um, when it comes to these morals, um, I think they really can apply to the um, the code of ethics for public um, defenders because um, they have this, a similar set of rules or morals um, in the code of in the code of ethics. So the ethical scenario and solution, um, an ethical scenario that a public defender might come by is having too large of a caseload and not having enough time to dedicate the proper attention to each of those cases. When this ethical scenario happens, it is best to just be honest about the time constraints and the inability to properly and adequately provide legal counsel to the client. This is the most ethical thing to do in that situation because the client can get represented by someone who has the required amount of time to dedicate to their case. These clients are facing criminal charges that could affect their freedom so honesty and remaining ethical in this scenario 
is very important. So I would just like to say thanks for viewing my video. Look forward to interacting with you guys in the comments.